to another episode of Vet Talk, man. Real quick, I want to read a quick email to you veterans out there waiting or looking to file for your VA benefits under the PAC Act. They say in this letter, veterans, family, and stakeholders, we encourage all veterans and survivors to file for benefits. VBA started to process PAC Act related benefits in January 20 of 23. If you apply for these benefits before August 10th, 2023, and your claim is granted, your benefits may be backdated to the date of bill signing. So the day that they started this bill, this is the day that they're going to backdate your benefits to, which means if you went from 80 to 90, man, that's a big difference. And you can receive back pay all the way to the day that this bill actually got signed. And it says, um, have a visit at va.gov pack act to see if you or your member may be eligible for medical care and disability compensation. Then they ask the question, did you file previous benefits with the VBA only to be told that certain diseases, illness do not qualify for service connection? Those previous denied conditions may now be connected under the PAC Act. So if you have an issue or something that's going on that at one point, one time they said that, man, we don't recognize that stuff, please go check um, at va.gov under the PAC Act and find out if your sickness and illness is now on that list. And they also said that um, veterans who have previously been denied a toxic exposure related claim are encouraged to file a supplemental claim. The VA would then review the claim under the new law. So at one time you might have been denied, but today and starting from 2023 of January, they approved the PAC Act and now you're able to basically file for certain um certain claims that you were denied previously. And you may have this question of how does a veteran get screened to determine if their disease and illness fall under the PAC Act? The answer is get screened by the VHA. Veterans already enrolled into the VA healthcare system can start the screening process with their primary care providers at the next appointment or by request. So either you can go see your primary care doctor and do it then, or you can schedule an appointment with them to do it. Edor, and it said the first phase of the screening process can be done on the telephone or virtual. So if you're one of those veterans who are in a situation where, you know, you just don't have the ride that you need to get there, then you can do this by telephone or you can do it virtually. Either or, you know, you can get this done. And it said if you're a veteran, if you're, if a veteran is not currently enrolled in the veteran health care, they can call 1 800 my VA. 411. Again, that number is 1 800 my VA 411, which also come out as 1 800 698 2411. Again, that number is 1 800 698 2411. Follow the prompt, speak to a live operator, and get connected to your local servicing veteran health care systems PAC Act coordinator. So please make sure that you go and you get this done. I'm going to copy this stuff and I'm going to put it in the description so that you can click on what you need to click on so that you can get this done. This has been another episode with your boy, brother Vince, Vet Talk. As always, Vet Talk out.